Class 7, English poem, The Rebel. Good morning, children. Today, we are going to do an English poem titled The Rebel by D.J. Enright. Well, children, do you know who is a rebel? A rebel is a person who always disagrees with you or your friends or likes to do the opposite of what everyone thinks they should do. Think of a word to describe such a person. Think of a word to describe such a person. Well, children, uh, a rebel always goes opposite to what you think or what you do. They are going against the stream. They are not easily, they are not, they do not accept things easily. They may put a lot of questions. So, uh, in the streets, sometimes you see people protesting. They are a kind of a rebel. They are the people who go opposite to the stream, opposite to the opposite direction. So, let us see this poem, The Rebel. Now, now let me read it out to you. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his short hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in good word for dogs. When everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need for rain. When everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of rain, absence of sun. When everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel say, stays at home and reads a book. When everybody stays at home and reads a book, the rebel goes to the meeting. When everybody says, yes, please, the rebel says, no, thank you. When everybody says, no, thank you, the rebel says, yes, please. It's very good that we have rebels. You may not find it very good to be one. So this is a poem. Now let us go to uh, the poem line by line. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. Now, what do you have to say about this? Well, suppose this is a fashion that everybody is wearing a uh, short hair. The rebel lets his hair grow long. His hair will be long. It is just the opposite. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. So when it is a fashion to have long hair, the rebel will have a short hair. Now, children, what do you have to say about this? What is a rebel doing? We'll think of it when we come to the end of the lesson again. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. Say, so suppose there's a discussion in the class and everybody is giving their minds, talking, expressing what they feel. When everybody is talking during the lesson, the rebel will not say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, when everybody is listening quietly, the rebel will create some kind of disturbance. He'll make noise. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When he is expected to wear a uniform, he will not wear it. He will wear some other dress, fantastic ones. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. So when a certain occasion arises when everybody is wearing beautiful clothes, 
gaudy clothes. The rebel will wear very simple clothes. In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. So in the company of dog lovers, when everybody is talking about a dog, he will talk about cats. In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. So when everybody in a particular company, when everybody is talking about cats and how much they love, they're talking about how fond they are of cats, he puts in a good word for dogs. He will start talking about the dogs. When everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need for rain. So when everybody is saying that, yes, it's very nice that the sun has finally come out and all, the rebel will say, no, we need rain, opposite. When everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of sun. When everybody is greeting the rain, when everybody is very happy that rain has come, the rebel will say, oh, it's so sad that there is no sun. When everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel stays at home and reads a book. When he's expected to go to the meeting, he will not go. He will simply stay at home and read a book. When everybody stays at home and reads the book, the rebel goes to the meeting. Then, when everybody says, yes, please, the rebel says, no, thank you. When th there is something very nice that everybody normally likes, they'll say, yes, please, yes, please. The rebel will say, no, no, I don't like it. When everybody says, no, thank you, the rebel says, yes, please. So when everybody likes something or dislikes something, he will go against it. When people say, no, thank you, they will say, yes, please. It is very good to have rebels. You may not find it very good to be one. It is very good to have rebels. Do you like rebels? Writer D. J. N. Wright says, it's very good that we have rebels, though you may not find it very good to be one. You don't want to be a rebel. You don't, I don't want to be a rebel. You don't want to be a rebel. But it's nice to have a rebel around us. How does it help? The presence of a rebel around us, it teaches us that there are people around who are different from us. Not, we are not selling the same boat. So when we have a rebel around us, children, we develop a certain attitude towards people who have different philosophies, people who have different thoughts and different ideas. So we are not looking at them differently. We respect them and accept their thoughts and philosophies. So it teaches us to be tolerant and accept any kind of difference that we have around us. So that is the reason why it's nice to have rebels around us. Another reason why we have to, it's nice to have rebel around us is that children, the rebel are very important people of the society. We need change and these changes will come from the rebels. There are people who set a fashion, for example. When everybody is having a short hair, you start keeping a long hair. And then people will follow you. You are a fashion setter. You set the fashion. You start something new. You are the beginner. You are the starter. Then everybody will follow you. So rebel actually is not bad. Depending upon how he or she reacts to certain situation. So we need rebels also in the society, isn't it? Now, uh, this is the end of the poem. Children, you are going to read this again. And uh, please do uh, as homework, working with the poem, question number two and three, you have to find opposites for question number two. And uh, Try doing number three. Find in the poem lines that match the following. Following lines, there are five lines given. Five lines are given. You are going to find certain lines in the poem that will match them. So this is all for your uh, class today. Thank you and have a nice day. Please do your homework. <laughs>